In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. This is the Friday of the second week of Easter. And as we begin our celebration of God's great gift of love for us in this Holy Eucharist, we reflect upon the times in our lives we have not been faithful to our God. So we ask our God for mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, hope and light of the sincere. We humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts to offer you worthy prayer and ever to extol you with dutiful proclamation of your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee and the Sanhedrin, named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all the people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, Fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do to these men. Some time ago, Theudas appeared, claiming to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed, and those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas the Galilean at the time of the census. He also drew people after him, but he too perished, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men, and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they had them flogged, ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Christ, Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him. Because they saw the signs he was proclaiming on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain. And there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Peter, to Philip, where can you buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered, 200 days wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what good are these for so many? Jesus said, Have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place. So the men reclined, about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over, so that nothing will be wasted. So they gathered them, and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments, from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, this is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were come, going to come and carry him off, he to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we begin the Gospel of St. John, chapter 6 specifically. It talks about the bread of life gospel message here in chapter 6. Where Jesus is talking about the Eucharist is John's way of teaching about the Jesus Christ is true present in the body, blood, soul, and divinity at our Mass. Here we have the story about Jesus feeding 5,000. They had nothing, and yet his heart was filled with compassion for those in need. He knew that they'd be hungry after following him and doing all they were all day long. And as he got there, he looked out over the crowd, no doubt, and said, okay, I need to feed these people that. And so he tests his disciples by asking them, gather how much food do we have? We then knew there was not enough out there, Jesus as well, to feed this amount of people. But the interesting is you listen to the gospel message, the Passover was near. When Jesus was preparing his disciples for his death and also for the Passover meal as well. So he feeds these 5,000. He looks up and gives thanks to his Father. As you often hear about, we give thanks with our Eucharist for the gifts that God has given us. No doubt your hearts have been longing to receive the precious body, blood, and soul, and divinity. But at this time, we cannot do that. So we do that spiritual act of communion. There's some way that you feel in your hearts that Jesus is truly present. The longing that you feel is that hunger within your hearts and in your soul to be fed by Jesus Christ. Jesus took care of these people physically by the food, but he also takes care of us spiritually that our soul longs for that food of his body and blood. Continue to pray, continue to ask God to give you the grace during this time that your heart is longing, that you for him, in the precious body, blood, soul, and divinity, that you will be when we open up our doors again, whatever that may be, and you come into the church to celebrate, to give thanks to God for this precious gift of the Eucharist, his precious body, blood, soul, and divinity. Let your hearts 
be filled with love. Think about what it means. You have missed it for quite some time now. Understand that Jesus knows that. There'll be a time when these doors will be opened again and you can receive it. Begin preparing your hearts for that moment, even though we know not when it will be. Always ask God to fill your souls with the grace of his love during these challenging times that we are facing in our lives. Together as the people of God, we bring him our prayers and petitions, trusting in his perfect love for us. For church leaders, may God embolden them as they shepherd the faithful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may God's spirit of peace move them in carrying out their responsibilities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, May Christ, the divine physician, bring them healing and consolation, especially those who are suffering from the coronavirus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here and for our families and friends, may God open our hearts to the grace offered through the Holy Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, May they experience the fullness of God's love and mercy in his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Jennifer Baham and for Paulette Jacob, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Bless the Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer. Through the earth that we are going it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God Bless the Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer. Fruit of the vine, work of lands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us, and even pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more. The Lamb and slain who lives forever. They ever overcome with pastoral joy. Every Lamb, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly power of the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and in and willing to his passion, he took bread and gave me thanks to him, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was in, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the more of his death and resurrection, we offer the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to the his word, to be in your presence and ministry. How many we pray? And pertain your body by the cross, we gather into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. We bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Gregory our Archbishop, his assisting bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Open them and thought in your face, have mercy on us all we pray. For the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we bless the Blessed Joseph, his spouse. We the Blessed Apostle and the Saints who please you without daisies. We merit to be called out to the life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Grace and grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be free from sin, and safe from our distress, as we wait to bless it over, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but the faith of your church. In grace and grant our peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word of the soul. Spiritual communion. My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Keep safe, O oh Lord, we pray. Those who have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The mass is in you. Thanks be to God. Praise we him whose love did